So let's say you've released your SQL or if you have to keep pressing the button and people have noticed something and people are angry and they're wanting to boycott your, your company because you have made this fatal error on your new hit game, you have to keep pressing the button. Well, you'll notice you have pressed the button zero times. Press it once, you have pressed the button one times. That, that doesn't make sense as a sentence. You press the button two times, three times, four times, and so on. And it makes sense, but the, you have pressed the button one times? That doesn't make any sense. So now you've got an angry fan base, and they're going absolutely crazy, and they're wanting to boycott your company and, um, and demand that you release some DLC for the game. Basically, they want this to be fixed, and they want it to be fixed now. What do you do? Well, here's an idea. You make it so that if their press equals 1, then under those circumstances, don't forget the squiggly brackets on either side, then you say time. You don't say time with an S at the end, you just say time. Now, here we have a bit of a problem because... But what if, what if it's not one? What if you pressed it no times, or twice, or three times, or four times, or five times, or 7,212 times? God have mercy on your soul. But if you actually did press it that many times, it's not going to, it's, it's not going to actually register that, because it's only got for one. And you can, the numbers go, numbers go on from, on to infinity. There's no limit to numbers. So how are you going to, it's not like you can even do a for loop because you can't even put a limit on the for loop. It'll never end. So how do you get about this? Well, it's very simple and it's four letters long and it's called else. And I realize I just started talking like an Apple representative doing a keynote speech when I said that. But still, it, it applies. Else, and within the else statement, times, with an S at the end. Now, one thing that you could have done is you could have also done, instead of else, you could have written, and here's a bit more notation for you, if fair press does not equal one, and the exclamation mark before the equals means does not equal one. You could have done that, I guess. But I figured I would also show you how to do the else. And let's see if this works. You have pressed the button zero times. You have pressed the button one time. You have pressed the button two, three, four times. And now you can repatch your game and everyone will be happy with your new release. And your fans will cancel the boycott and everything will be absolutely fine.